another video blog. <laughs> it's just been a day. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you about a petition worth signing. And being gluten-free obviously means um, realizing that gluten parades itself in things besides regular food products. And that I want to remind most of you and introduce some of you to the fact that um, a lot of medication, prescription medication, um, drugs do have gluten in them. So most all celiacs and gluten intolerance alike, along with the medical community, believe that if someone who cannot ingest gluten is facing a life or death matter, obviously you will take the, you know, the medicine with gluten in it, uh, let it be administered regardless since it's life or death. But that being said, uh, medication that is, you know, um, preventative, it's consistent, um, or an antibiotic or steroid of some kind it needs to be absolutely checked out to make sure that it is gluten free. <clears throat> and a lot of times um, when you ask the pharmacist, they're not too pleased to um, research your question and then they're unhappy and then the long line of people behind you is also unhappy. So it just takes this long process. Um, luckily there is a great resource called glutenfreedrugs.com and you can check um, reference your medication there. Um, and I'll post the link to that. But this lack of education on gluten-free drugs is really not like the pharmacist's fault. It also extends to doctors and nurses. There's just really not any um, education right now telling, teaching doctors and people prescribing medication what is gluten-free and what's not. So um, this woman, Marcina Taylor, is the mother of a gluten-free child and she got very fed up with um, kind of this lack of education and trying to keep her um, child safe. So she decided to do something about it and she created an online petition to mandate that the FDA put clear um, labels on all pharmaceuticals labeling the ones gluten-free, obviously gluten-free. So two paragraphs from the petition state the following. To people with um, a gluten allergy or celiac disease, ingesting even a grain of gluten has a toxic effect on the body, causing debilitating gastrointestinal symptoms that can last for several weeks after the contamination. Currently, for celiac um, patients and those with gluten allergies, even a minor unrelated surgery can become a major ordeal because most doctors, surgeons, and pharmacists unknowingly poison the patient by giving medicine that contains gluten. Today, the only way to verify an absence of gluten in pharmaceutical products is to contact the manufacturer directly rather than simply reading the label. Believe it or not, sometimes the pharmaceutical company representatives can't even, the an even answer the question with 100% certainty. Many commonly used medications like multivitamins, pain relievers, and antibiotics contain gluten. Consumers are not asking companies to change their current ingredients. We're just asking they warn consumers of gluten presence in their product. So um, the online petition is linked to this post, and I strongly encourage you to sign it if it's something you stand behind. Um, I've certainly signed it. And if you don't want your name published on it, you can um, be published as anonymous. So. To keep your name private, it says to uncheck the box that says display my name publicly on this website in the public signatures list. If unchecked, your name will um, be published as anonymous. Um, so I think that's definitely a petition worth signing. I hope that you will feel inspired to go out and, um, and sign this today. And also just check your medication if you haven't, you know, you never know. And this is just a good reminder that you need to double check everything that you do in dress. So not to scare you, but just to, you know, give you all the information available. So I hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, thanks so much for watching. As always, it's from Have Not To Have and Gluten-Free Dining.